Okay, a lot of people have been waiting for this for a really long time, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to start with a fresh install of Windows 7, and I'm going to go ahead and restart it. While the operating system is booting, you're going to want to hit F8 as it's loading Windows. That's going to give you a debug option for disabling driver enforcement. Well, driver signature enforcement. There it is. That's going to allow us to install a lot of the utilities that we're going to be using today. I've already copied all the necessary files to this computer, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to start by launching Zadig 2.4. This is what's going to be used to um, turn um, to enable the button board drivers and install them. Um, you're going to ignore Easy USB FX2 if you see that. That's going to be your PIUIO. We're just doing the button board because we're going to still use IO to key. Make sure it says OT. I mean um, 0D2F and 1010 when USB. Hit install driver and then you just wait. Looks like it froze but it did not. It just takes a while. I tried to make this guide in Windows XP because I didn't want to reinstall Windows but apparently there are no drivers for VJoy or Zadig to run in a 32-bit environment. Despite there being downloads for them, none of them actually work. So, sorry XP users. Okay, it ended up crashing for absolutely no reason. Never had that happen. We're gonna try it again. Okay recognizing that the driver is installed for some reason. We're going to go ahead and install VJoy. This is why you needed the driver signatures removed. Okay, VJoy is installed. Hmm... I see, I forgot to config VJoy. Okay. First you need to make a 32 button device out of both of them. So, slot 1 and 2 should both be lit up green with number of buttons set to 32. going to try rebooting again because it decided to forget that driver signature were disabled. Trying this again. Okay, I guess Windows wants to update for some reason when it is not even connected to the internet. Okay, we're going to try opening Zadig again. It's behaving as if the driver is installed. Okay, I have no idea how that worked, but there we go. Okay, now that that's installed, we can go ahead and open up step F2 and set up the keys. <laughs> okay, if you hit, um, if you select up left as your option button, it's going to bring you back menus. Now, if you set it to the option button, it's going to just open up your options and close them. This is what it does in Pump It Up Infinity, such as the Pro Series. 
which for some unknown reason actually requires a button board if you're even gonna play it because you can't use your mods you can't do anything I mean you can play it but it would really suck me and TJ first started working on this probably eight months maybe a year ago um, but we couldn't get the button board to do anything at all we couldn't figure out what the hell it was trying to do and in the end we just kind of dropped it we jumped back in it and everything worked right away and now here we are hopefully you'll find this useful